Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bo with Designs by Bo. I want to thank my two new brave uh, subscribers for subscribing to the channel. I hope that you guys subscribe as well. I'm new to YouTube, so please show me some support so that YouTube will recommend my videos and other people will learn from these videos as well. Now, let's get started. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to create your own texture overlays using Inkscape. What I did was I went online and just found an, um, an image of a cinder block and I cropped it out the space that I wanted out of the image. And this is the image you see in front of you. Um, the reason I picked the cinder block for this process is things like concrete or rocks in particular, um, they have a lot of highs and low spots, a lot of places where shadows can fall into and create good dark shadows, and the higher parts give you a, a brighter contrast to the, uh, the lows of the... Um, where the shadows are. So there's a lot of texture in something like this, this cinder block. So it'll give you a nice um, distressed look when you use this type of um, pattern for an overlay. Now to achieve the pattern that we're looking for, the first thing that uh, we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top Actually, we want to make sure that we use the select arrow and you want to have your actual um, image se selected. So click on the image, make sure it's clicked on. And then you want to go up to where it says path, click path, come down to trace bitmap. And to the right, this box will pop up. And what we're going to do is we're going to use color quantization. And I'm just going to click on that. And then we're going to use only two colors because all we need is basically I'm going to snatch the shadows, the all of the shadow parts out of this image and use that as the overlay. So two colors, one color would be black, the other would be white. So we're going to choose two colors and we're going to remove the smooth, leave stack scans checked and then hit remove background. And these are our settings. And to see what it will render like, you're just gonna click live preview here. And this is what it will render and what it will appear like after it's rendered. And what we're gonna do is click okay. And as you can see, the okay state lit up and it went to stop. Once it goes back to OK, your image is done. And you can look on top of your image here and you can see that a um, SVG copy or a vector copy of your image has been made. And we can just close this window out. So then I'm just going to click on the top layer that we just created, drag it over, and then I'll just click on the old layer, the original image, and then you can just delete that. Now you have your texture for whatever you need texture for. And what I'll do is I'll just, it, once you have this SVG copy, it can be enlarged or reduced in size without losing any image quality. So to do a uniform up, down, left, right expansion of the um, of this new image. You just hit control and then click on one of the arrows and drag it outward. So I'm just gonna enlarge this just for the uh, sake of showing you guys this effect on, on text. Like if you're creating a t-shirt design or something or artwork where you want this effect to be over your text. So I just enlarge that. And what I'll do is I'll come over to the text tab and I'll 
create some text and we'll just put overlay and I'll make this a bold text so we'll do impact which is the boldest out there just about or that I know of anyway and there you have the overlay and then I'm just going to enlarge it and fit it you can fit it anywhere within this overlay design with within this overlay pattern that we've created and to give it contrast so that we can see what we're doing I'm going to click on the overlay when it's selected I'll just make it just a, a lighter shade of gray so that it's visible and then I'll bring it to the top and put it over the top of the word overlay now you have both um, you can see how it will render all of the pattern outside of the words we're going to get make Inkscape delete that and then we'll just have the um, what's left of the text behind it so what you do what you want to do is you can take this and you can play around and get it if there's a certain spot of the design that you like better than others you can move it around to get it perfect but uh, for the sake of this video I'm just going to leave it the way it is now and then what we're going to do is just going to select just I'm just going to drag a bolt box over both objects and make sure your overlay is on top and then your text is on the bottom and all we have to do is hit control and the minus key on the number pad and this is what we have left guys it's your pattern basically cut out of the letters or the uh, text that you had and to see the contrast of this you can play around with it um, I to when I'm designing t-shirts and artwork and things like that I like to see what um, what it looks like on the background of something so I'll usually just draw a box and then put it behind it so I can play with the colors and let's try this in a white we'll change this to white and then we'll do this in a black so you guys can see how it'll look this design will look over black or you can try it in a navy or regular blue or even over red and then you can actually change the the um, the colors of your new text as well to whatever color you like guys so that was my tutorial on how to create your own overlay patterns using Inkscape. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the uh, comment section. And uh, please subscribe, guys. Show me some love. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing. So just looking for some feedback from you guys that I'm doing a decent job and uh, that these videos are being watched, guys. So please subscribe to the channel. I try to put out daily videos, so I can basically show you guys what I've learned by doing this. Um, I've been using this program a couple years, and I've taught myself how to use it and to go in depth into a lot of things with how to design. And I mostly use this for t-shirt designs because um, it works. It's a good alternative to Photoshop. So. Guys, again, please subscribe. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you guys on the next one.